Hi everyone and happy Wine Wednesday. I'm Allie from A Glass After Work and today we are, I'm going to be sharing with you a uh, sample that I got from uh, the Francis Ford Coppola Winery and from Tall Poppy Writers. They joined uh, forces and have put together a Books and Bottles book club uh, shipment. It's a quarterly wine, wine and book pairing shipment and so they sent me a copy but before we get started why don't we uh, um, why don't I share what, what I'm drinking tonight uh, since we're doing Coppola wines I had a friend give me this Coppola wine a few months ago and so I thought I would open it up and it is the uh, Coppola 2014 Diamond Red Blend, it's the Scarlet Label. And the Scarlet Label uh, is named after uh, Scarlet O'Hara from Gone with the Wind. I'm a huge Gone with the Wind fan, so this is a, a bottle of wine right after my own heart. And the whole idea behind the naming of the wine is that she was a very um, tempestuous, very alluring uh, character, heroine. And so they put together a wine that's a blend of a lot of, of, of big red grapes uh, with the hopes of putting together a wine that is both alluring but also a little, a little moody. And so let's take, a, take a, a look at it. So here you've got the, the wine. You can see, uh, so this wine is definitely got a nice dark red color to it. On the nose, we've got some chocolate and some plums. Definitely some blueberries and blackberries, lots of dark, dark fruit. Oh, it is definitely an alluring, um, an alluring wine. I think it is aptly named. Um, and so with that, why don't we get started? Uh, so, First up, so the, the Books and Bottles Wine Club comes with this nice little booklet that they send you. And the booklet, it tells you about the, the, the writers. So b basically, each uh, shipment, you have a choice between two writers. I ended up, well, we'll see who I ended up with in a, in a second. Um, I, I sort of know because it says on the, uh, on the packaging. but. As you can see, they give you a little write-up about both writers, and so um, which is great. And then there's a little conversation on the inside about, between the two of them. So if you're if you're a writer yourself, or you just you like reading about um, about authors and and kind of a little bit about their writing process and how they came up with the story, uh, this is a great little conversation. And then they have some. Uh, tasting notes because you get two wines with the book that you get and then what's really great is because the idea is this is supposed to be a book club so they help you also plan the evening um, depending on which book you get uh, there's a different playlist that you can put together with the evening so if you actually are having people over and are deciding to do it or maybe it's just a playlist that you want to uh, put on for yourself while you're opening up the bottle and, and diving into the book they have a two different sets of playlists to set the stage for the discussion. They also have uh, recipes that will pair with the wines and that will go along with the book. So for example, um, there's a chicken pot pie recipe. Uh, so the idea being that the recipes and the, and the music all will pair with the book that you get. So let's uh, check out which book. So everything comes wrapped up, um, everything is seasonal and it comes wrapped up in pretty packaging. So here's the packaging for my book and you can see this is how I knew which author I had. Um, I have Susan Crispell, so I'm to open it up. Yep. And I have Dreaming in Chocolate. And the back of the book says, uh, with an endless supply of magical gifts and recipes from the hot chocolate cafe, Penelope Dalton runs alongside her mother. She is able to give her daughter almost everything she wants. The one sticking point is Ella's latest request, her dad. 
and not just any dad, Ella has the, her sights set on Noah Gregory, her biological father, who's back in town for a few months and as charming as ever. Noah broke Penelope's heart years ago, but now part of her wonders if she had made the right decision to keep the truth of their daughter from him. The other, more practical part, is determined to protect Ella from the same heartbreak. Now Penelope must give in to her fate or face a future of regrets. Sounds like it will be a great book for a red, to dive into with a red wine, um, with, with a Coppola red wine. Um, but let's see. So, um, so both bottles of wine come also wrapped up in this fun packaging. And first up, I have got the 2015 vintage Scarlet Label. And um, so this wine is a blend from several different uh, vineyards across California. There's um, grapes from Napa and Sonoma and from Lodi and from El Dorado vineyards. And it's a blend of a whole bunch of grapes. Uh, I think it was Zinfandel and Syrah and I think there's some Cabernet Sauvignon and some Merlot in there. I feel like there's another, another grape that I'm forgetting. Um, but uh, so it's a lot of big red grapes, which explains how it ends up being a nice big red wine. What's great about at least the, the 2014 vintage was that it's also still an easy, easily drinkable wine because it's well, well balanced. Let's see. So this one also is wrapped up nice and pretty. This is going to be our white wine. And this is the Francis Coppola Director's Sonoma Chardonnay. Also a very nice, pretty label. Take a look there. Um, this is also from 2015. And uh, the, on the back, it has some, some tasting notes about it being um, full of a full-bodied wine that's very fruit forward with uh, pears and clovers and vanilla, but also that it's um, soft and velvety mouthfeel. It's definitely seen some oak, so if you like um, you like some oak Chardonnay, this will be this will be fun. And so that was what was in the package. But if you decide that you just want to get one, maybe you, for yourself or you have a friend who you do, you know just would love a, a good book and, and some good wine. Uh, to get it on its own is $49, and you get to pick which one of the books that you want. The other book by uh, Kate Moretti is called The Blackbird Season, so you had a choice between the one that I got or the, the Blackbird Season. And that is the Books and Bottle uh, Book and Wine Club. Thank you for joining me, and um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will make sure I leave all of the details about the wines and the authors and the books. I'll put details about both books uh, down there so that you have links, um, as well as to the publishing company. Uh, all the information will be down below, and with that, have a great Wine Wednesday. Thanks for joining me.